session we will be discussing that how can we read the data from data from a csv file okay this is the requirement we have so let's see how we can read this particular csv file by using automation anyway a360 okay so now i'm going to the automation tab and here i'm taking the new bot so here i'll say read yes so i'm creating this what so the search will be having one package called csv and a text in the csv text first we need to use the open command so once i call this here we have to provide the session name so this session name will work similar to the excel session name only okay all the session names will be working in the same way throughout the automation anyway okay. so here i am naming this session as shopping list okay. then here i need to select the file okay. not allowing me to browse okay let's do this so we do the right click here i'll go to the properties details tab we copying the here it is. So I'm copying this. I can paste it over here. Crash, and we need to give the file name as well, right? So going back here, copying the file name and paste here. Followed by the extension that is CSV. Okay. Then here we can say that contains header or not. This is also works in the way how it will work in the Excel as we discussed in the previous session. As this is going to have the header section. Okay. Here the family member and favorite food is the header section. Right? That's the reason I'm going to select the contains header. And what is the delimiter of this particular CSV file, whether it is comma, tab, or any separate uh, regional list separator or new line or anything else. So, see, when we open the CSV file with the help of Excel application, we will not able to find it. What is the separator? To know this, simply we can do one thing. So, I am going to this uh, particular file and I will simply give a right click. And I'll choose the open with and I'll select the notepad. If we see here, the separator is comma. Okay. In some places, the separator may might be like this. Then also it will be considered as a CSV file only. So we need to understood in this way. What is the separator of this particular CSV file? Okay. So in this particular CSV file, the comma is the separator. So that's the reason I'm going to choose comma as a separator if it is tab we need to choose the tab if anything else like the spike symbol as i explained previously if it is that so simply we need to select other and we need to give the pipe symbol here but in this file the separator is comma right so i am taking comma as a separator so i'm just selecting this thing so simple thing what is this trimming the leading spaces and filing space means Whenever we extract some data, if it has some null spaces before to the string and after to the string, those are not required. So those null spaces uh, will uh, access the memory unnecessarily, right? So to remove those null spaces, so we can choose this one. What is the null space? If I suppose, let me take a note back. So here I'm giving automation anyway this is the sentence we have okay 
for suppose if I give the space here like this and before also this portion, this portion and this portion will be considered as a null space and this portion will not be considered as a null space. So whenever we select these two checkboxes, this leading and trailing null spaces will be removed automatically if that is there in the extracted data. If the uh, spaces are those null spaces are not there, nothing will be happen. It will not throw any error. If it is there, it will be removed. Otherwise, it will be keep count. Okay. Here are the different different encoding formats. So I am going with the standard encoding format and see you can try with the multiple things. For suppose you can choose the ANSI. If it is working as expected, you need not to do anything. So if it is not working with the ANSI, try with the UTF-8 or else try with the Unicode. Like this, you can try. Okay. Whatever you want. See, until unless you found the expected output, you can keep on change them and you can try. Them. Okay. Most of the times in this top three, you can able to find the match format. So for now, I am checking with the ANSI. Hopefully, I believe that it will work. See, whenever we have the data other than English, at that time we may need to go to with the UTF-8 and uh, Unicode systems. See, these systems will support the other languages apart from the English. Okay. So I'm saving it. So I opened it. So far, what I did, I said to my bot, dear bot, go and open this particular CSV file. Get the separator is comma. Okay. And just remove the leading and trailing spaces if you have in your data. That's what we said to them. Then once we open what we have to do, we have to read the data, right? So for that, simply I'm taking the read option here. Okay. Here simply I need to paste the same session name. Okay. And see, the CSV data also is in tabular format, right? So what is the supported uh, variable here? The supported variable is table variable. So here I am creating a variable called table from CSV and I am assigning the extracted data. Whatever read from this particular CSV file, that data will be assigned to this particular variable that is table from CSV. So once it's done, once it's done, what we have to do? So to access this data, we need to use the loop. What is that loop? So which loop we used earlier when we are discussing about database and Excel concepts, we used the data table loop. Right? So now also we'll be using the same loop. I'm just simply taking this and here I'll be choosing data table for each row in data table. Immediately Bart will ask, okay, which data table you want to loop? I want to look through this table from CSV data table. Then what is the variable that can hold the data from data table? The record variable can hold the data. That means the row data from the data variable. For that the reason, we need to create the record variable here. So here I'm simply creating a record variable with the name of table row. So once I created it here, I'll be saving this. And how can I access that? data now by printing the record variable. Simply, How can we print the record variable? So here, give the F2. It will be displayed over here. Table row is the record variable. Do we do you want to go by name or index? See, if our, if our data doesn't have headers or we haven't chosen the contains header option while opening, we should go with the by index and here we need to give 0, 1, 2, 3 like this. But for now, we have mentioned that my data has the headers. That's the reason I am giving the header name. See, it's always recommended to use having headers. The reason is if you go by index in upcoming days, if the data is swapped in this way. So, for suppose, the B column moves into the A place and A column moves into the B place. So if you go with the index like uh, 1 and 2, that may get spade. So to avoid these things, even though the position got changed, the bot should not throw the error, right? That's the reason it's always recommended to use the, what is that? Header. 
So now I am printing this one as well. See, once we are done with this, what we have to do? Right after, once we open any file, must and should remember that we need to close it. So I am just simply taking close CSV here after the loop and here I will be giving the session name. Top English is the session name. Simply please do not expect the session name. Yes, it doesn't expect the session name. So pasting it here. Same it. So remember that this CSV file should be in closed state. I don't want to save any changes. That's the reason. Simply selected don't save. Now I'm running it. Now it has to print the data one by one. <coughs> that would me no. Like this, it will be printing the data. Okay, now I just want to add one condition. I just want to print the data of the parents and grandparents. I don't want to print the data of children. So how can I build that is? So simple, if save condition. In previous example, while we are discussing about uh, database and uh, Excel, we discussed about uh, equals to case. Okay, so now I'll be discussing about not equals to or not. That which is the string. I'll be going with the not. Okay, so I'll take the if and I'll take the string because the ch dad, mom, grandma, children, child one, child two, child three, all these are string. Okay, these are not the numbers, right? So that's the reason I'm simply going with the string type of validation. So I'm taking the string condition. What is the source value? The table row of what is this family member, right? Family member. Okay. Does not include, does not include child. Child or children, let's check that. Open this file one more time. So it's children. Let's say child. So here, see, even though it is child one, child two, child three, child four, whatever it may be. So that guy should not come, right? That's the reason I'm mentioning that the string or the sentence should not include child. Even it is child one that will be including child. Even it is child two that will be including child. Right? That's the reason the string should not include child. So that's why I'm telling that here does not include child. And I don't want to match any case. And I'll save it. I'll move this message box inside to this if condition. Okay. Let me turn this. You see, this time only we'll be getting the parents' data like dad and we will not be getting the data of children. See, dad, we got will be getting the mom data as well. Now, child card right? It should not be printed. See, the child information wasn't printed on the message box. Like this, we can work with the CSV file. So, this is about automating or reading the data from the CSV file with automation anyway. 8360.